Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for embracing your gift, being able to drop knowledge as well as you're picking it up, being able to see that your gift goes far more than you ever imagined, go f further more than you ever imagined. So with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you feel like the you know, uh, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even just with a fellow empath that are really struggling right now through dark times or just need confirmation or validation on the things that are going on in their life, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, please give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media pages wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and giving me so much love and support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the meditation music I'm listening to today is 432 hertz. Lucid dreaming music, have magical dreams, and fall easily into deep sleep lucid dreams. I need to leave that, you know, I need to use that on later on because child is so tired I am not been getting any sleep like I wake up at 3 4 o'clock in the morning and I'm trying to figure out what messages they're sending me but I guess it's just everything going through my head through, throughout the daily you know I'm really struggling with that time so it's just like between that retrograde Rosalind ain't been getting that much sleep and it's just been so aggravating like I told Sydney, I think it was Sydney. Oh, I was like I'm no at, uh, happy camper because I've not been getting any sleep but um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hell, because are you existing or are you just being? You know, I'm like, how dare you? Yes, how dare I? You got to ask people. And you got to ask people this question. And you got to ask yourself this question. You know, are you being or are you existing? I mean, are you just being or are you existing? Are you living? You know, you have to be, you got to know what you're doing, you know. Because sometimes we can just be existing and being there. Or you could just be being because, you know, you're okay, you're comfortable. But it's just like with us, usually when we're like that, you know, um, usually if we're like that, we have to basically find our purpose or our purpose is going to find us. You know, it's just like I've seen a lot of posts and, you know, with my visions, you know, at times. And I really feel that we're existing and being. You know, I should have just, yeah, existing or being. And um, it is just like, I feel like we're doing that. You know, we could have a good career or whatever, but there's always something missing. You know, and we really can't put our finger on it like, dang, there's something out of my life I'm missing. And I felt like that before because it's just like every job I came across before my spiritual awakening, it was like either because a friend worked there, I got my job or it paid good or the benefits was good one of the two but it was never something that fit me you know what i'm saying because i always clash with people you know i clash because my boldness is like you know i've been tested you know my intelligence been tested i can't stand when somebody test my intelligence i mean i've had people on here like do you know what this means or you know that i mean some of them are generally asking me do you know what it means but there's sometimes people don't gave that vibe like are you stupid or are you just stupid i'm like no i'm stupid I ain't do it either, you know, but I got to, you know, go through stuff. But it's just like we have to have our lives shaken up for us to know what path that we're going to be on. Because some people are just like, okay, they can be where they at. They can be wherever they at. They want to be that way. Let them be that way. But it's just like God handpicked certain people. They really going to put through hell. They going to run, they going to railroad the heck out of you. And it's just like you have to understand, are you going by your true purpose? Are you going deep? within your gifts are you finding out more about yourself than where you were able to find out before being able to feel things that you're going through wonder if you're on the right path knowing wondering are you going for your 
positive purpose or your life purpose that you were placed here for you know we're all we all on a mission i feel like we're all on a mission but some of us have a deeper mission than other people and they have there's some of them got to play on the back bench it's just like basketball players you got the, the mvps and you got the bench warmers we're the mvps <laughs> i feel like we're the mvps we're the high paying ones with stress you know, we ain't getting paid like them. You know, it'd be a blessing. I wish I had some of them MVP money. But it's just like a lot of us got to figure that out for ourselves. Are we really doing what we need to do? Because some people can have them signs right there in their face. And it's like they'll be coming at me like, Rosalind, I don't know. If you aren't trying to, don't be asking for a change if you're not trying to be that change. You cannot be that way. You can't wait for a change to happen if you're just sitting there not doing anything. You know, there's times, I, I mean, like, throughout the days I haven't made any videos through that gap. I was like, I'm tired. I'm so mentally tired. I give up. I am done. I am finished. I'm tired of going through this. My grandmother, my dad, my mom, my best friends were like, no, Rosalind, we're sending you that loving energy. You you have a purpose. You, you got a job to do. You got duties. And we feel that way. We cannot, we cannot exist on this planet just by existing or being or are you truly living you have to really be doing that and it's just why our way of life is just hard it's hard out here for a pimp i'm telling you it is really hard and it's just it made me want to go into bernie mac it goes really hard you know i really want to do that but it, i'm just saying you're going through the things you're going through for a reason. You've gone through a lot of hell because it's supposed to strengthen you. You're supposed to get your growth from it. Trust me, I know, because I look at myself like God must really think I'm a Billy Bad mm, for him to be putting me through the stuff he put me through because it's just like, I, I you know, I be feeling weak at times. It, I really, really do. I feel weak at times because it's just like I'm tired of going through this. I'm so tired of going through it. And I'll have my kumbaya yas. I'll cry. I'll get mad. I'll go haul off and punch something. Or I'll just go sing. Or I'll just go run, exercise, do my little kickboxing and stuff like that. And go at it and say, you know what? The devil not today. Darkness not tomorrow either. You know, and they and they put us through that test sometimes where we have to be having everything coming to us all different corners. And you're like, enough is enough. Can you chill for a day or two? Heck no. We're going to take you through this, not yesterday, but right now. You know, not right now, but yesterday. We're going to take you through it. So it's just like at times you have to really, really sit back. You know, when all the, when the dust settles, sit back and see, ask yourself. Am I living or am I existing or I'm just being? You know, one of those three. You got to be doing one of those three. But you got to be, I'm hoping you're picking it. You're living. You know, because we can't be just sitting here. You know you're going through the stuff you're going through. You're tired of going through it because you've been doing it for so many millenniums. You, I mean, we don't gone through it. You know, it's just like certain parts of my life. I remember, I'm like, God, dog, you ain't got this mess right yet. You one of them slow slows, ain't you? I mean, it's just like. I'm like, God, dog, I done been back through this on Egypt biblical days. I'm tired of going through this. I'm really tired. Because I noticed today, I said, I put my eyeliner on and it was like really heavy. And it really gave me a flashback of the, you know, Egypt Pharaoh days. I was like, ooh, especially with the cut bang and stuff like that. I was just like, wow, I really remember my, my Egyptian days. I, I always wonder why I was always attracted to Egypt. Um. Egyptian things and you know you know the the artifacts the hieroglyphs and all these things but it's just like your past your past lives are giving you inklings to the things you're supposed to be doing now you'll have some kind of flashbacks it could be through you know just daydreams you could be going through a start raving fit you could be losing your dag on mine having a nervous breakdown or you can go through a meditation like some people you got to go through your akashic records if you really want to find out some of the things you're going through and wondering why you're going through the things you're going through now because it's like you're cutting cords you gotta you know do closures with folks because they if they didn't end that closure with you those other times you're going through it again with these folks and it's just a different way but it's the same situation it might be you know either they cheated on you or oh they backstabbed you or oh they used you it, you're going through all these situations because the fact is of your past lives things that you have not paid a debt to society yet 
So knowing when you're going through things you're going through and you're going through hell, you're going through it for a very positive purpose. I got to keep telling myself that it might be a negative situation, but it's going to come out to be in a positive purpose because this thing is giving me knowledge more than I ever had about myself because we can walk around ignorant, and not know what we truly are. Because, you know, like I've told people, do you know who you really are? And I'm not saying that to be like testing your intelligence or saying you know, being smart, but it's just the fact is there, I mean, with me being who I am and being gifted to be able to see other people's situations, because sometimes it takes a person to see on the outside in, because there's times I have to get a second opinion about certain things I go through, so don't feel like, you know, I know everything, I, I act like I know everything, because I don't, you know, I gotta go learn, I gotta go read, I gotta have visions, you know, I have all my things are coming at me one way or another, but it's just like, I get tired of going through the things I go through, too. I had those mental breakdowns. I have emotional and spiritual breakdowns. I get drained. I'm just asking God, why do I got to keep getting handed all these things? I'm tired. <laughs> you know, I say, can you leave me alone? Can I, can I get a little bit here? You know, can I get a break? No. We got a score to settle. You can't sit down now. You know, even when I want, I'll take a break for a minute. And then it's just like, you know, I was going to take another day off today. No, I had to go through my kumbayas. I had to cry. I had to get mad and tell God, just really speak to him on an honest note. Look, for real, for real. Yes, I said for real, for real. You know, I had to really go through this half. I said, me and God, we you, we here. Can we have this talk, please, sir? <laughs> you know, we had to have a talk. And then after I'm hearing my grandmother, my dad, and all them come through and saying, we're cheering you on. We know you're tired. You smile at times when you want to cry. You laugh at times when you want to scream. You know, all these things. But I know I'm living my life the way I need to be, the way I'm supposed to be. I'm healing each and every day. I'm getting strength in places I never realized I was able to. You know, I'm seeing more things that... You know, I didn't even think I would be seeing. I'll be catching like I'm a what the what? Excuse me. You know, just like when somebody tell me, I'm like, oh, I couldn't tell you this, but you know, you're doing this and this and that. You wait a minute, what? I'm doing this, and you know, and it's just it. When you really start reading up on the situations, then it makes a lot of sense to you. You understand why people came at you the way they did. Why did people need assistance the way they did? Why did things fall in your lap? Why did your world fall apart? But you have to ask yourself these situations. Are you doing what you need to do? So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I said I'm probably do about four or five more videos. So I'm going to try to do some for at least about two days. Because that's how much energy I got today. Because I was supposed to start earlier this morning. But I had my nervous breakdown this morning. So I had to take a pause for the cause. So much love to you. I hope you're able to resonate. Drop me a line and let me know. Are you living? Are you existing? Are you just big? One of those three. So, I'm going to get my post notification shut out to Deadwood, El che uh, Checo Novesta, I hope I pronounced your, your name right, um, Carmela Peterson, much love to you as well, sending my love and blessings to everybody, uplifting and loving vibes, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can, have a blessed bless. Blaze safe weekend. Okay, have a blessed safe weekend. Drop me a line, like and subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing I and other people are cheering, you know, cheering you on and praying for better days for you. Peace and be wild.